Hi everyone, Freedy Hero here and welcome to today's build. Well today we have a Warlock build that will provide you with near infinite heavy ammo while on the go and is best suited for the moon content or in general the hive and all you need is an exotic, a hive armor and plenty of discipline and maybe a hive machine gun of your choice. This setup is going to be a PvE only build and can carry you through simple story missions, strikes, nightfalls and endgame content such as the raid but only if you have the hive armor mod. Think of this as an anti-hive build with extreme prejudice. So let's start off with the subclass which will be the Tunnel of Control. This class will be combined with the getaway artist's exotic gloves to make full use of the tree's one ability called the Ionic Trace, which upon kills generate traces that replenishes all of your abilities. As we will be using getaway artists to generate our grenades, this subclass perk fits perfectly for the on-the-go movement and kills build that we're going for. Plus this perk alone won't be the game changer for the build. We will also be relying on the Grenade to Ability Enhancement mods to further boost our stats. We could use the Tunnel of Elements subclass for the Rising Storm perk which also provides ability regeneration, however that will require us to get kills via melee only and to be honest doesn't proc so much compared to Ionic Trace. The rest of the subclass perks will help us here and there and for your grenades I recommend you use Arc Bolt so you can hit multiple targets at once. Next up are your weapons which for your primary and secondary you can ignore as we will be making full use of your heavy. Your primary and secondary can be anything you wish, but your heavy now is recommended to be a machine gun. With our Hive Armament mod that triggers upon grenade kills, using a heavy machine gun is your best choice of preserving as much ammo as possible, and also having a bigger magazine size and also being able to run and gun with it, without needing to stop or need to reload as much. You can of course use grenade launchers, rocket launchers or even swords to a degree, but their ammo reserves are capped and limited compared to the machine guns with their much larger reserves. For the machine gun of choice, it's best you stick with an adaptive on aggressive frame for their damage. You can also pick the fast firing frames but you burn through ammo too quickly and do slightly less damage compared to the other two frames. Perk side of things, look out for Ambitious Assassin and Field Prep as both can provide a large magazine or reserve on activation. The most easiest machine gun to get is the Black Armory Hammerhead which you can easily farm and get within a few days or within a few minutes. Now for the stats and armors, for stats we want to spec into recovery resilience like normal, so around 40, 50 to 60, ideally 40 to 50 for the sweet spot. Discipline is for the fast grenade regeneration, so hitting around 60 to 70% and above will net us around 45 seconds to 30 second regeneration speed. If you have the option, by all means push it to 100% so for even more fast regeneration, but just remember this will benefit your gateway artist uptime to feed into your infinite heavy usage. So the more higher your discipline is, the more longer you can go ahead and use your Arc Soul Buddy. Now for armor, you will need to have either the Menagerie or Crown of Sorrows armor set to access the high armor mod. It's best you get the Menagerie armor as it's a lot more easier to farm and for getting the mod, you can do the heroic version for the activity to increase your chances. This mod here is important as when combined with the Gateway Artist, which requires us to consume a grenade and then once we get a kill with said grenade, it will trigger our heavy generation upon hive kills. Without this mod here, it generally won't work. The only other pieces of armor we need as well is of course the getaway artist and maybe another menagerie based armor piece for the hive repurposing mod, which refreshes our grenade as well upon destroying hive shields, but it's not really that needed, you don't have to have it. Overall, the following mods attached to my gear are as shown. You got head, discipline and hive armors mod, Arm, Discipline and Enhanced Impact mods, Chest, High Repurposing mod, Leg, Recovery mod, Mark, Discipline and Distribution. Now if you have everything as noted down in the video and have your trusty machine gun, you can now go ahead and face any hive with not only your trusty arc soul but also your trusty machine gun which just tears hive of all types apart. From the clip you can see at the bottom corner of my heavy reserves being rewarded every time my arc soul gets a kill. So I can keep firing my main magazine until I need to reload and then watch my reserves fill back up to max again, thus having near infinite ammo. Also because of my high repurposing mod, high discipline and the amount of kills my Arxel gets, by the time my Arxel runs out it will already be regenerated to full again so I can then reuse it all over again. So you honestly have everything covered on your end. Playing this setup on the moon for example pretty much makes 90% of any content that requires you to face a hive trivialized, it's almost laughable. Want to use this on the Outer of Sorrows event? Go ahead, I'm in chaos. Want to use this in the Pit of Heresy dungeon? Well why not, when everything wants to kill you there? Want to exterminate us titan once and for all? Well why don't you go do that and have a great time you silly goose. 
This build will never let you down for high base content, and if you wish, you do it for the Fallen or Taken as well, as long as you get their correct mods for the selected build. Unfortunately, you can't use this in PvP as well, it's quite obvious as why, and against tougher hive enemies that requires a lot of ammo to kill them, it's 50-50, it won't always work. You won't at times have enough heavy ammo to finish them unless the hive are coming in at you at a steady rate for you, so be aware of that one issue there. But that's everything you need to know about setting up your never run out of a heavy ammo build. If you're like me and enjoy just using your heavy all the time as some sort of action superhero, then I believe this setup will fit you perfectly. And if not, well, you have the blueprints to go from there. So if you enjoyed the video, by all means please leave a like and a sub, and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny content if you dig that type of stuff, link is down below. But once again, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys in the next one.